Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and welcome to a beautiful chilly and windy southern Arizona day. So today is a big day for us because we are separating the does from the bros and uh, first this is the buck pen. So these ladies here that we did not breed this go around um, have to get out of here. So that's step number one. Now this is Ray and this is Ruger and they were just too small. That's the only reason they didn't get bred this round. Um, and then old Lacey here scratching her back. She's retired so we didn't breed her and then we got what are you doing, Roxy? We got Roxy, Shilly, and Skye that we are holding back to breed uh, because we have a soap business now and we're gonna need milk year round to make our goat milk soap. Well, hello there, ladies. Hi, Lacey. Oh. Roxy's got her her mohawk up. Vader's introducing her, himself to her. Hi, Ruger. The rest of these goats are going to teach you two some manners, I think. Oh, here comes Shilly and Big Montana. Okay, so the next step, Derek is replacing this fence, or this gate rather, with a pallet gate. So it'll just be a little bit stronger for the bucks. Um, so what we did, we were able to do in the last week, we have just kind of took all of the panels down. Uh, Derek put a lot more T-posts in uh, four feet apart instead of how they were, um, it was like eight feet apart. So it's a lot more, it's a lot stronger, if you will. Um, and also new, new pallet or new panels. It's so windy I can't even talk or think. But anyway, so, and we did um, extend it. So this is a bit bigger as well. The buck pen is now a little bit bigger and they're gonna have their own A-frame. So I think they're gonna be really excited about their new pen. Now I need to get in here and hopefully Lucky will let me have his Elsa. He's not gonna be happy about it. He's already in tell her to get off. So hopefully I can easily grab Elsa because we gotta get her back over there with the other does. And then uh, Lucky's gonna be first one in the pen. Elsa, yes, it's time to go out. I know you want to. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Good girl. Come on. It's better to have loved and lost, Lucky, than to have never loved at all. All right. Be nice, Elsa. No promises. Let's see, Elsa is very dominant. Yeah, turn that on, Emily. On. Hey, Ray, you remember Elsa? She did. <laughs> All right, buddy. You ready to go see your new, newer, bigger, better A-frame pin? Look at all that hair girl back on his head. You have hair again. It's just little fluffy, but it looks so much better. So Lucky is our oldest buck. He is the buck that's in charge. He's the most dominant. You know, he owns that pen, but he hasn't been with the boys in two months. So they're going to have to reestablish that, um, you know, pecking order. So we'll see. I'm really hoping Lucky still stays on top because he, he is the top dog. Or the top goat. Come here, boy. Oh, my oh yeah. Let's go. You ready? You got hair. <laughs> If only he'd walk like this in the show ring. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> oh. What do you think? You're home. Nobody's in here yet, oh. though. There's nobody he's to just, fight he's yet. He's mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more Elsa for the year. 
We might have a surprise for you in June if you're lucky. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> what are you thinking? You have an A-frame now, Lucky. You like it smells like dust. I'm sure one's in here. You say so. there's always somebody who asks when we show the bucks when he's stiff legged like that. He's just trying to act tough and make himself look bigger. He's all right though, huh? Good boy. There's a kitty in here. Don't hurt. Be him. nice, Lucky. The does hate cats. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care. No. Uh. Oh uh, well. It's because I'm in here. All right. I'm gonna leave Luck Buck. I'm gonna go get you a friend. Now we're on to Merle. We're gonna take Merle over to uh, re-meet his daddy. And he's been in here with Lodi and Dawn. So it's time to say goodbye to your girls, Merle. Let me see. No, don't get out. Let me get you, honey. You know what's going on, don't you? Can I get you? Oh, stop. It's a sad day. I know. Let me get you. It's okay, Merle. You had two long months. You're next, Everest. There you go. Welcome home, Merle. Oh, man. Here, let me out. <laughs> There's your dad. Who so far doesn't feel like you need reminded. Oh, maybe he's reminding you. He's run. He's like, oh crap. It's this guy again. <laughs> Lucky has a couple of rules. They're mostly about the fence though, like it's Lockie's fence, don't look at the fence, don't touch the fence, stay away from the fence. As long as you do that, <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind. Merle, you just gotta check everything out real quick. He says, hurry up and go get Everest. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> go get, <there. laughs> go get somebody else. They don't even care. That's crazy. Wow. Yet, anyway. Yeah, I have a feeling it's not going to last the whole time. No, it won't. So now Lucky's looking at me because I am on the fence. He's like, don't you know the rules? <laughs> don't you know the rules? Like new fencing. They like their pen. That's what it is. They're excited. Yeah. They're like, heck yeah. What do you think, Merle? <laughs> yeah, we we did have that tree that had a, a cow panel around it to keep the goats from killing it, but we just kind of gave up on it. I can't believe they're not doing anything or headbutting or fighting, especially Lucky. They're just really excited about the pen, I think. All right, now I gotta jump in here and get my sweet boy Everest, um, which is a good time because those girls, what do we got? He's in here with Lily, Maddie, uh, Cassie, and made it up here staying out of trouble, which she's a smart girl. So I'm gonna run in here so I don't have any issues with the gate. Watch out for that guy. Yes, he's, not he's, be trusted. he's trying to eat the camera. Do you wanna go see Merle and Lucky? Come here. I know. All right, let's go, boy. Emily, you want to get that gate for me, honey? Thank you. They didn't even say goodbye. No. They're too busy trying to beat up Elsa. Look who I found, Merle. I was going to take it off. Calm down. They're a lot different than before breeding season, huh? Oh my goodness, yes. Thank goodness. Much calmer. Well, 
they got their stiff legs going. They're still like, they're just checking out their new pen. They really like it. This is awesome. I like that they're not fighting. Now I have to get in here and get Legend, which he won't be hard to get. He's sniffing the other ladies on the other side of the fence. But he has May, Dink a Dink right here, Vogue, Tippy, Daisy, and Wildy. It's right behind the pallet. Yeah. I don't see her, but I know she's in here. So I'm going to go in there and get him. I'm surprised he hasn't attacked me up on this fence already. Let's see. I'll see you girls today. Legend! 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 Blah, 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 blah. Legend will cause trouble. Here you go, buddy. This is your new pen. All right. Oh. Oh, man. Who will be in charge? I bet it's going to be lucky, but in a year or two, it's going to be this fella right here, the ledge. Oh, yeah. Remember the old scratching tree ledge? I love the tree. I don't understand. Legend saw Lucky coming. He's like, oh. <laughs> What's up, Led? He was too close to your fence, Lucky. Breaking the rules. <laughs> oh. Legend wants to play. Look at, I swear he has grown so much in two months. He has. You can tell. He's like... <laughs> he's like, want to fight? <laughs> yeah, he's going to want to be in charge, but I bet he'll get walloped this go around. Now, Everest never likes to mess with anybody. He's just the real calm buck. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't blubber on the other boys. But he doesn't take any crap either. If somebody wants to fight him. He's tough. And he's been right alongside Legend for two months now with Legend just talking smack every yeah. day. So he's... He's mad. Yeah, he's... Ooh. Legend's got some legs in there. <laughs> He's inventing He's so far. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like watching the show. <laughs> I don't know who to watch. <laughs> Little jump. All right, now next up is buck number five. This is Vader here. So he already knows what's going on because he's been watching. I think he's getting a little antsy about it. But all right, so his girls here, we have Birdie. So this is Maybelline, we got Dreamer, Lid Eye, uh, Mayo, and Birdie. Bessie, sorry. There's two. 
Bertie and Bessie. I always get them mixed up. Are you ready? I still can't tell them apart. So. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and grab him right now at that belt if you can. All right, you girl need to get out of the way. Hi there, Maybelline. You on my own? You're not going anywhere. That worked. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right. All right. What are you doing, baby? Whoa, buddy. who's that, legend? <laughs> it's your old bestie, Vader. I don't know, you better sort it out with your, your half-brother Lucky there first, though. You're much older, half-brother. We're going to go right to the tree. <laughs> Everest is happy they're not fighting him. Yeah. He's mad as well. Lucky, you're being smart, huh? That's right. Let them fight it out there, yeah, lucky strategy is yeah. let everybody else fight it out. Oh, if he gets too close to the fence, though. <laughs> That's a war. <laughs> Well, Emily, you're touching I'm the sorry. fence. I didn't mean to. Bro, it looks like a bear. <laughs> look, look. Look at him. Look like a bear. <laughs> Oh, Ledge thinks he's awful tough, man. He definitely thinks he's tough. You think he's tough when he, uh, we bring his dad in? Uh, I think he's still going to act tough, absolutely. He's got... I bet you he'll be in charge next year, but not this year. He's big, though. He's awful big. He's grown very nicely. All right, so next is Champ. He is the last buck. Hopefully he'll let me get him because he's, he likes to run from me. But uh, he, if Lucky wasn't in charge, it would be that guy there. He's he's the bigger of the bucks, but um, see how this goes. All right, so in here is my sweet, sweet Cammy, Little Bit, and Abilene. Are you girls ready to get rid of Champ? Yeah? Heck yeah. I think now's your chance. All right. There you be. Let's see, I have your girls, champ. Uh-oh, I lost my chapstick and a bunch of goat poop. And your opportunity. I had to save the chapstick. <laughs> I don't think it's chapstick anymore. Yeah, one could argue, no you didn't. <laughs> you mean you need a new chapstick. <laughs> Come here. Let me get you. Oh, good boy, good boy. Good job. Oh, El Champo. Alright, boys. Have fun. Now you can tie that up real good, Barb. Yep, Champ went right to that tree. I wonder what they named it. The scratching tree. <laughs> scratching. <laughs> What is he doing? Oh. He was going for a walk, Emily. <laughs> we hope he don't get thumbs. <laughs> Typical champ. See, doing that to any ladies, but you don't care about the other. Boys. He wants Vader to know. Oh, Ooh. oh. Vader Ooh. has other thoughts this year. 
You're right where you always have been, huh? He's yep. just standing by us, making sure no one's touching the fence, yep. and everybody else is fighting for second place. Oh. You're a smart old goat. Yes, <laughs> smart old goat. Waggy gets tail. He is. Yes. <laughs> so Champ is ruining everything over here, you guys. Most of what is happening is not PG-13. I don't know what his deal is. No, that's, I don't know what that rating is, but it's not good. <laughs> like, stop it, Jeff, you're ruining this. <laughs> yeah, stop. Yep, you just got pee on your jacket. Look out, Ma. Me too, Jeff. Lucky, legend's touching the fence. He looks good. All right, so I'd love to sit here and just watch them, but we gotta let the does out so that they can reintroduce themselves to each other and see how that goes. So let's go get that done. We'll come back and check on them. Bye, boy, behave. All right, so we've got all these gates untied and we're going to open all, whatever this is, five of them at the same time. And Lodi is ready. Ready? Oh, and there goes, oh, not me, you don't want me. Yes, you want to fight Ruger, but not me, hooray. Look out, Emily. Yeah, Ruger. That's Lodi. Oh, look at them together. Oh, I love it. Oh, I miss you, girl. Crystal thinks this is a responsible amount of goats. It looks like a lot of goats, Crystal. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is all of them. It's not. Lodi's working well. Silver entrance. Come on, Lodi. I have my bodyguard back. Hey, at least you still got a bodyguard, right? <laughs> yes. Why not? Why is so white? Why is Bessie so white? Look at this. No, no. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, make it this windy. You lead by the wind. Ooh, Dawn and Chillier. Cammy's all puffed up. He's still trying to be a brat. I love you, Paul. I'm not trying to be a I love you, Eddie. Hi, Abilene. Hi, Roxy. And there's Lid Eye. Are always worse than the boys. Ooh, oh, Lodi. Lodi, your head is already cracked open. You just be nice. I don't know, Mom. If there was ever a goat that deserved it, that's you one of them. You better stop. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ruger and Ray have been driving me nuts for two months. <laughs> that's true. 
I paid Lodi to do that. <laughs> Why does it seem like Lodi's protecting me? I know. <laughs> what are you doing, you honor little thing? Get away from my shoes. Be nice, okay? So Dad's trying to film. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lodi doesn't like goats littler oh, than her man, or bigger than, than her. Lodi. <laughs> Ooh. She will take you down, Daisy. Be careful. I don't know. <laughs> Grandma Lacey, like, what's going on? Did Lacey just like sneak a punch in, in there? Uh huh. I, I don't think she likes her own low dive. Maybe. All right, you guys are hurting me towards the fence. And it's electric, and I don't want to get shocked, so. Wow. Lodi is still with me. I've been backing up the whole time. <laughs> She's still. <laughs> still <laughs> Lodi. He's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Daisy. No. No. Be nice. Oh, already bleeding, eh? Hey. Lodi. What's wrong? There's little Lodi. You gonna say hi to your your mom, your daughter? Maybe later, huh? Now Lodi's protecting Emily. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh, we know where Lacey is. Little Lodi versus Vogue. <laughs> Lacey? Yes. <laughs> yes, we know where Lacey is, right, Mom? <laughs> I don't see her. You hear? Yeah. Take him down. <laughs> <laughs> it made like she's crazy. You are running out <laughs> Lacey has always been fighting things that hang on fences. Lacey is uh, Lucky's mom and Legend's mom. And she's got a thing with fences too. So we knew that was her. Because that's always her. And here is my bodyguard hi wildy you have gotten big girl dreamer the heart all right lodi let's go yes all right plow the road lodi that's so cute why does he follow you oh no i'm scared <laughs> Oh, dude, get away from him. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh, that these two are fine. <laughs> Stay <laughs> away. <laughs> <Don't you like? laughs> Lodi, Wildy's my friend. We traveled cross country together. <laughs> There's Birdie and Bessie. Hey, Bess. Bessie. There's Maddie. Just look, observing the madness. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, it's so much. Ridiculous. I'm going to stay in here until things calm down a little. <laughs> she's got the same idea as her dad, Lucky, huh? <laughs> I love you, Maddie. So cute. Oh. Ooh. Little Ray. <laughs> She's the smallest one, isn't she? She's tiny, yep. Damn. Put it down, Betsy. What's going on? What do you think? It's obvious how dinky feels. Uh -huh. Little. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's funny, like the older ones are fighting the older ones, the younger right. ones are sticking to the younger ones. <laughs> they know they shouldn't be fighting the older ones. Yeah. I can still see legend in over there. This is a bug. Bat goating all around, <laughs> flying through the air. <laughs> with his hair. Yes. <laughs> with all his with, hair. With all his hair. <laughs> Don't they just look cool, bro? I just want to hug them. It's a thing in the bottom. Well, be nice, horsey. Oh! Be she nice. just bit Cassie's ear. Be nice, horse. Yeah. Be nice. Aww. They're, uh, hey. Don't Shilly and Lily appear to still be besties. <laughs> side by side. They are. Don't be fighting. They better not mess with Grand Champ May too long. Oh, that was a loud. May you be careful with that champion head of yours. She was like, Hello, she me. Well, he's never been like my friend, but now she's my little friend. I thought we were friends. Up Maddie is still on top of that A-frame. She's not leaving. She's like, this is my turn. This so is I mine. Came down for Ow. a second, and then Elsa came in, and she jumped back up. It's chaos. Okay, now Emily, Derek, and Darren are going to start taking down these. Oops. Emily. I didn't see you there. Anyway, they're going to start taking down these panels and this plywood. Because it is no longer needed. This will be one big pen. What are you doing, Bessie? That hurt, girls. You just totally took just, my leg out yeah, there, man. Cassie, Cassie did that to Emily's leg. And Twice. I got bit. It's dangerous. These girls won't be so mean the whole time. They will calm down a little. Yeah. <laughs> Girls. Girls. Elsa, that fight's not even about you. Run along. Run along. Bye, girl. You too. Stop. <laughs> sometimes it's actually going really, really calm, you guys, because sometimes it can get nasty. Just the groups. Look at these girls, man. I'm telling you, they're worse than the bucks. Just mean little things. Dreamer, you don't want to take down the old ladies, honey. Maybelline's got your back. Here's Maybelline, like, who are you messing with, my? <laughs> are they messing with your bestie, Maybelline? Like, yeah, they were. Oof. And you probably shouldn't headbutt your grandma like that, but whatever. Nope. Bessie, quit jumping on me, girl. Stop. Goofy. And Wildy. She's got something out for you, Ray. Doesn't she? And my boot. And my boot. I know. <laughs> Dinky. How are you holding up? She's almost as big as Maybelline. You girls have grown so much. There's <laughs> Birdie. <laughs> Birdie and Bessie are glued to me. Abilene! <laughs> I haven't even seen you. How are you, girl? Now they're up here fighting. Mayo, Cammy, you girls don't want to fight. <laughs> well, I'm glad that they're all back together. And in a day or two, I'm kidding. In a couple hours, it'll be all calmed down. Those are just following me. 
<laughs> yes. I'm making pretty quick work of that. Are you giving those goaties a break? Hello, Dai. Take a break from beating butts. Silly goat. Ooh, not anymore. Now Cassie got up on Lodi's, apparently her hill. <laughs> Seriously, Cassie? She didn't want none, huh, Lodi? Cassie! <laughs> What's up, little bit? Little bit. How are you, Lily? These two are half-sisters. They're both lacy daughters. Hi, Lily. Now, Lily on the left, a little bit on the right. That lacy line sure is an ornery line. Let's go see what's going down over here. Yes, Don, I know you don't love me. Elsa. <laughs> Ruger. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to yik yak anymore. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you too. I love you both. Maddie, you haven't came down one time. You realize everybody's gonna fight everything out, and then you're gonna have to fight all of them all by yourself. What the heck, Maddie? Don't fool her! Are you good, Cammy? Are you good and done fighting? You sure are pretty. Really, Maddie? You might want to reconsider coming down for a little bit and just facing the crowd. Don't say I didn't tell you. All right. Yes, girls. You know something's going on, huh? Check it out. A big old pan again. Just got this one more to go. I'm going to do that next one, too. Yeah? Yeah, who knows when I'll get to the, the next part of that. All right, he's going to take down that back one too. You girls. I missed you too. That's a long walk for a girl your age. That was I'm getting rid of this buck. Uh, so they have a really large pen and I don't know if you guys remember, right before breeding, when we got them to go, they were running around and just having so much fun in the big wide open pen. So we're gonna open this gate up. They look like they've gotten most of the squabble out of their system. You know, it'll never be completely done, but uh, yeah, let's see if they wanna come in and check out their big old pen. Come on in girls. Come on. Lodi. First one in. Come on, goodies. Grandma Lacey, Lacey, number two. Grand Champ May, number three. She's still number one, though. Then the, uh, the little goat herself. The She's cute. Gremlin. She's a gremlin. <laughs> she got fed after midnight. <laughs> And there's the other one. Here, Cammy's got her favorite A-frame back, it looks like. Yep. What do you think, a little bit? Made it. Cammy. 
You coming in to check it out, Cassie? Maybe get a drink? Come on, Lady. Hi, No? No. Well, it worked a little bit. Oh, yeah. What's that, Fossey? They're still coming. Here's the, the old, grew, old girl crew. Except for you, Vogue. Dreamer's not old. Daddy's not old. <laughs> Don't you dare. He's like six. He's five. And a baby. Five, that's not over the hill in goat years, is it? Nope, that's prime. Cammy, it's your daughter. Cassie. What's up, champ? So, so happy birthday, Crystal. You got your goats back. Yay, I did. Birthday. It's a good birthday. All right, so we managed to get them all separated. Everything went really well. Um, so we got about an hour before it's the evening feeding. So we're going to get in the house. I got something I wanted to show you guys. So surprise, surprise, I have some really exciting soaps to show you guys. So Alexa and I have been coming up with quite a few variations um, for, for the spring lineup and one of them here that I'm about to cut um, is called Be Mine. So it'll be, it'll be ready around February um, for Valentine's Day, but we went with uh, purple, kaolin clay, rose clay. If you guys can see the top of that, it's just kind of swirled pink and, and purple hearts. I think it looks lovely. And this one, since I got new scents coming in, um, and Elong Elong is one of them, and oh my goodness, that is like the most beautiful, or, oh my gosh, just floral scent. It is so amazing. Um, so this one is Elong Elong and Lavender, and I just, it might be my favorite scent so far. I don't know, except for the other one I'm gonna cut too. They're just so fun with all the essential oils. Um, and mixing them together has been really fun too. So just getting, you know, you have a ton of essential oils and then you can mix the scents together to get something completely different. Um, so it's, it's been fun for both of us. So I gotta shave the edges of this one so that it looks pretty. Oh, we'll cut her up. Oh, you guys, I'm excited. Let's see. I've been waiting on this bad boy for a couple days. Again, I know I've said it before, but that's always the worst. You come up with this design and you're like, you feel good about it. And you're like, oh my gosh, I know it's going to look so pretty. And you can't wait to cut it open and see it, but you just got to wait. Oh my goodness. Love that. That purple here is going to actually get a lot more purple as it starts drying out. But look, not quite hearts. And I knew they wouldn't be perfect hearts, but look, I mean, I'm a, I love it. That turned out so pretty. All right, well, let me get my scale turned on. So we weigh every bar. And because they're hand cut, you know, the, the sometimes it varies slightly, but we aim for five just over five ounces rather by the time they cure they, they typically come down just a little bit lower because they're getting dried out and lose a little bit of weight let's see oh let's see turn that around I love that and again that will start turning more purple so here's the top and you can see it's a really light purple and then the pink. The Brazilian clay is, is just a really beautiful, beautiful clay. I love it. That is pretty. Okay, 
Okay, let's cut a couple more here. Oh, you guys, I didn't even weigh the bar. Let me see. Okay, that is 5.9 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is switch this a little, move my little guide here. Because again, we're aiming for right around a five ounce bar. So if I hit about 5.3 ounces, then I am just so in love with that swirl, man. Oh, it looks lovely. Ah! So if I got about 5.3, it usually, by the time it cures, that's 5.6. By the time it cures, then, then it, it uh, is a good five ounce bar. So that's 5.6, just a little more. So pretty. I'm loving that. You guys, the feather swirl technique is just, it's so fun. I just love it. And this smells absolutely heavenly. It smells like the most, I don't know. I, I, I had never smelled Elong Elong before. I just heard such amazing things about it for the benefits of your skin and like for wrinkles and elasticity of your skin. And the scent, they use it in a lot of um, perfumes have Elong Elong in it. And, and yeah, so once we got it and smelt it, it, I was in love instantly. I'd cut this whole thing right here with you guys, but I'm gonna get the other one. So let me just put this to the side and I will come back to it. Okay. Alright, now this one, this one um, was, was one that was thought up, actually, to like something that is extremely relaxing, um, you know, something, uh, just a really beautiful smell with soothing colors that you think of relaxation. Um, so that was the goal with this one that is called Me Time. So let me trim the edges here. I'm telling you what, as far as the scent is concerned, we nailed it. So that, um, this one here is more, the one we just cut, is more of a perfumey, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful smell. And this one, Me Time, is something that would relax you. This one here has eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender. Yes, yes, I love lavender. But this one just smells so, so good, you guys. Okay, so here we go. If you can tell here, I'm really liking that. You see the colors. We went with pink, purple, blue, and white. So let's cut this sucker. Okay. Pull her back. Ooh, look at that. This is just the butt, but like you can tell how pretty that's gonna be. That's gorgeous. I am happy with that. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you what, you guys, this is like the funnest part of soap making period. Well, it's all, it all can be really, really fun. But, you know, coming up with new ideas and just creating things and when it works out, man, it's cool. When you just love the design, it is really cool. So let's see. Oh, this is so cool. Loving that. But, oh man, that's such a good smell, you guys. You guys are gonna love this one. You know, both of these, and we're actually, we have some more that we've, we've um, designed too and came up with that I haven't caught on camera, but our spring lineup is going to be amazing. Here, we'll cut one more for you guys. Look at that. Each one is so cool and so different. 
And really it's just the swirl. So this is just the drop swirl technique is what it is. You just kind of get all the colors and then you pour it into the white and then you pour it into the mold and it's just kind of this whirlwind effect of colors and I'm loving it. Turned out lovely. And the top of this one is really cool too. I really like the top. I'm not weighing my bars again because I'm too busy talking to you guys. Let me see. Let me see. 5.6. 5.6. See? Because I didn't weigh that last bar when I moved it. Let me just move it over just a hair. It's crazy, you guys. If you get one of these cutters, just the slightest, tiniest bit over makes a big difference. So let's cut this one last bar. Oof. Oh my gosh, every time I cut it, that beautiful smell gets stronger. I love it. 5.3, that's where I want to be. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so I got to finish cutting this one too, but just wanted to say, so these again, these are going to be ready in, the, in um, our spring lineup, if you will, but starting, starting Valentine's Day, right around February, we'll, we'll get some of these new scents and these new soaps out to you guys, but we do have a few new ones that are listed at our Etsy shop, you guys, so please go on over. We still have a ton of soap for sale, a, different, a lot of different varieties, um, so head on over to the Etsy shop. It is blue cactus soap or you can just click the description and the link is in the description below all right so as you guys can see these boys have calmed way down nobody's hurt legend here probably thinks he's in charge but it's still lucky so they're all settled down they love their new pen by the way so when we came out here they were all huddled under and above and of course lucky has claimed the top part of the A-frame, so, so far so good. I think these boys are happy to be back together, so let's go check on the girls. All right, guys, so I am super excited to have my does back together and have the bucks in their own pen again. Hi, girl. Silly. Um, and it's a good birthday present for me, so on my birthday, I just get to hang out with my does all alone without the bucks blubbering on me so that's that'll be a good day uh so yeah we're gonna have for the next three months we're just gonna watch their bellies grow because we'll have babies on the ground in three months uh starting in march end of march we'll have babies so that's exciting guys thank you guys so much for watching and i hope everybody has a happy new year and we will see you next year bye, bye. guys bye. Bye. <laughs>